<sighs> Hello and welcome to that was welcome to trailer reaction time. That's what I say. And today we are here for a great trailer. A trailer I may have already seen. I don't really want to say anything more about that because it could ruin things for some people. So we'll talk about that way at the end with a spoiler warning. But today we are here to watch teaser trailer number one, our first look, your first look perhaps, at Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a nerd, of course. <laughs> I love it. All right, so if you want to see this trailer without me in the way, there's a link in the description below or something's popping up right about now. You can click on that, check it out, come on back, watch me watch this, and we'll geek out of it together because Marvel movies are a blast and I love them. What's wrong with some movies being theme park rides and other movies being other things? It's art. We should have all kinds of all the things. I don't know why everybody's like, ah, oh, this is destroying this, this is destroying that. No, there's a wealth of other reasons that are causing the problems right now. We'll get into it later. Anyways. <laughs> Not a single spoiler for me, but Spider-Man No Way Home, mind-blowing, deserving of all its success, um, especially if you're a long-term fan of the MCU. And now we get our look at what will be the next big Marvel movie, which of course is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now I am going to try to stay spoiler-free, but we're going to probably have to talk some mild spoilers about a few things at the end, but I'll give you plenty of warning. So just this is just about this trailer, and I'm hoping there's some stuff in here I haven't seen. It might be the same thing I've seen, so if my reaction is a little bit lackluster, I think you can understand why. We'll further explain it at the end if you still want to know. All right, let's get to it, shall we? I really wish I could watch a Doctor Strange trailer. Oh, look, I'm magic. Don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Why? We tampered with the stability of space-time. The multiversal. There's a concept about which we know from your desecration of reality. Well, I'll go and punish you. That's exactly what I saw. Uh, nothing different in there. So I'm sorry. I'll explain why in just a minute. Let's talk non-spoilers real quick. What I think about the trailer. Trailer looks amazing. Baron Mor Mordo? Mor Mor Mordo? Yeah, Mordo. Looks cool. I like the long hair look on him. Which Doctor Strange is he talking to at the end? We'll talk more about that in a second. I don't want to get here. It, I was I did not realize that was supposed to be America Chavez in like the star jacket you see in there. So that's really cool. Sam Raimi's direction looks amazing. If that's what the music's going to sound like, it's probably going to be one of my favorite Marvel scores we've had yet. I love that mixing of sort of like a techno house kind of music with um, you know the classic or orchestral stuff. So that looks fantastic. All the weird warpy stuff, the multiverse stuff is gonna be amazing. The tie into WandaVision, Wanda Maximoff in full costume, hopefully getting to do some really cool stuff there. I am ready for this ride. And this is just, um, I, again, I won't give out any details, but I am starting to hear some early rumors that they're going to try and outdo some things in this movie in terms of insane cameos and unexpected 
uh, multiverse playing playground moments. Um, so getting real excited for that. It's a shame this got pushed all the way to May. I did hear they had to like, they're doing about 40% of reshoots or something. But again, that's common because these movies have to get made so quickly. You know, they, they just want to keep going back and making it better and better. And if they got the time and the money, let them. And then I think some of that too, is they see other things succeeding. They're like, that really worked. People are ready for more of that than we thought they were. So let's go back and let's add more of that. You know, because they're probably trying to play it safe because obviously geeky, nerdy folks like me and probably a lot of you, um, we understand and follow this kind of stuff because we've been reading comics and watching these shows for our whole lives. So multiverse concepts and everything come easier to a lot of us than the general public. Um, so <laughs> I think now that they're seeing people are catching on to more of that, they're like, oh, we can play more with that. So I think that's going to be a hell of a good time. It's going to be very hard to top Spider-Man, but I didn't think anything would top Endgame, but then Spider-Man, I think, might have topped Endgame. I'm still in the hype train on that, so it, it, that's a better question to answer after it's been out a year or two, um, but this is going to try, apparently. I'm like, I'm down for giving it a shot. But with that said, I do want to talk some more stuff, but now here's the thing. I'm going to give you spoilers. You might want to get out of here. I'm going to talk around Spider-Man a little bit because it's still so fresh. I don't want to say too much, but I am going to say a couple of things. I'm not going to ruin any big surprises in Spider-Man or any narrative structure. And then I need to talk a little bit about WandaVision and maybe a little bit about Hawkeye. So warnings, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Okay. So the easiest thing I'm going to say is of course I saw this trailer because this was the post credit scene on Spider-Man which I had a love-hate relationship with in the theater because, A, I'm in such this kick-ass mood and then I get to see this freaking sweet trailer at the end. But immediately my brain is like, oh no, I, I would like to have given a fresh reaction to this. So I thought, should I not watch this? But then I was like, no, I'm definitely going to watch it because also who knows if this is the one they released. Well, it is the one they released, but it was still really, really a good time to see. Um, now, speaking of all the speculation of cameos, of course, so many people, as we know from trailers, we're in Spider-Man. A certain other character uh, may have appeared. Uh, then, of course, Hawkeye. Big spoiler. I'm about to go watch the finale. But Kingpin, Netflix Kingpin, Vincent D'Onofrio. So, I mean, they really are starting to play in all these playgrounds. And I'm like, okay, okay. And, uh, of course, you know, seeing Scarlet Witch get the, the costume at the end and she's reading, like, the dark hold. A lot of people think maybe she's, um, you know, warping something with Doctor Strange or something. So I'm anxious to see where that plays out. Oh, and spoilers for What If. That was the other thing. The animated show might be even more important than we actually knew. It was certainly canon within the MCU just by the nature of the story they told. But is that supposed to be the same Doctor Strange? Is it? Because... <laughs> so I'm now thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly excited for this. Going to be such a good time as Marvel movies are. Um, you know, because summer blockbusters have always kind of been roller coaster rides. That's what they're always designed for. Not every movie needs to be a deep thinking piece. Not every movie should be the same. We need the deep thinking pieces. Guess what? Filmmakers are making those. We need the weird bend your mind pieces. Filmmakers are making those. Go check out Everything Everywhere All at Once from A24. You seen that trailer? <laughs> we then also need the turn off your brain for a couple of hours and just have a good time to get away from all the BS in your life kind of movies like these roller coaster theme park movies. It's good to have all of them. So all this discourse over there destroying this and the other, no, it's just the market changes. The filmmaker, the, the producers, the every movie is a cash grab. Oh my God, I'm ranting. Every movie is a cash grab to producers because that's what producers do. They want to take money and make more money with it. Everybody else is typically doing these movies Occasionally an actor might do something as a stepping stone, but we're talking about the crafts people, like the directors and the writers and the, the costumers and the effects people and the makeup. Way easier ways to make a living at the same pay rates at what they're doing outside of making movies. They're making movies because they need to make movies. That is what drives them and that is their passion. It is an, a passion project for those people. Um, you know, I mean, I, I, maybe once in a while somebody takes a paycheck film, but I mean, we're talking in general, man. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'll stop branding. Great times to be had by all. <laughs> Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy what we get. And keep in mind, a lot of people that may know, maybe don't get the hype over the Marvel stuff is a lot of us grew up in an era when comic book movies were pretty awful and didn't understand the source material at all. So of course, now we're celebrating a company that really gets the heart of it. Even if they don't get every specific right in every way every fanboy wants, they get the heart of it. And it's very much like what we grew up reading and wanting to see. And now we're experiencing it in ways we could never even fathom. So, all right. 
I think that's my rant. I guess tomorrow's Christmas Eve because it's coming on Thursday. Hence the Christmassy strain shirt. All right, I gotta get out of here because I got Matrix to watch and Hawkeye to watch and a whole bunch of stuff. So let me know, geek out with me in the comments. What do you think? What are you excited for? If you haven't seen Spider-Man or any of the shows, do not go in the comments. There will be spoilers. I can't control that, guaranteed. Um, but let me know, geek out. Can't wait to hear what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. This is a long one. As uh, Give me the thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And remember, we will get through this. We will get through this together. Okay, and I make music. It's high energy pop punk. Think like early Green Day or early Offspring, Screeching Weasel if you know them. Maybe a little Bad Religion thrown in there. A um, whole bunch of stuff like that and more. Look up music. Anywhere you listen to music, you'll find me. Just look up Eric Butts. Spotify, Apple Music, whatever, or come to the main page of my YouTube. You want to help out? You want to support for Christmas? Follow or share my band camp or buy a song or two? Whatever. You don't have to. It'd just be cool if you did. Uh, we got the link in the description below. Lots of links in that description. So if you want to support the channel and get more content, click that See More button to see more butts. All right. My nose is about to start dripping, so I'm going to get out of here. Wipe it. <laughs> Go watch some more stuff. And I'll see you all late. Actually, I see you right now. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I didn't know you didn't have your pants on. Oh, close the close, close, close. Okay, later. <laughs>